Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this season of Advent, God sends us His message so that His will may be fulfilled in our life this coming Christmas. And so to prepare ourselves to receive God's message through His words proclaimed to us, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the splendor of your glory Dawn in our hearts, we pray, Almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered 
and we may be shown to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sarah. In those days, like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers toward their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rouse your power. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As they were coming down from the mountain, the disciples asked Jesus, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said in reply, Elijah will indeed come and restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, 
and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also will the Son of Man suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them of John the Baptist. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the common questions that we ask ourselves whenever Christmas is coming near is this question. What do I want this Christmas? Many of us even make a Christmas wish list. Isa po ito sa mga tanong na taon-taon ay sinusubukan nating tanungin sa ating sarili at sagutin din, ano nga ba ang nais ko, gusto ko ngayong Pasko? But my dear brothers and sisters, whenever also Christmas is coming, Advent also reminds us that instead of just asking ourselves, what do I want? this Christmas, let us also ask God, what do you want for me this Christmas? What does God want for me this Christmas? Ngayong panahon ng Adyento, sana po ay hindi lamang nating tinatanong ang ating sarili kung ano ang nais at gusto natin. Kaya po may panahon ng Adyento. Tayo po ay nagdarasal at nananalangin sapagkat nais din nating alamin at tanungin ng Diyos, ano po ang gusto niyo para sa akin ngayong Pasko? The two readings today remind us of the messengers that God sent to the people of Israel to tell them what God wants for the people of Israel. In our first reading from the book of Sirach, we are reminded of the prophet Elijah. The prophet Elijah was sent by God in the time of turmoil in Israel, when Israel turned their back towards God, God sent Elijah to them so that he could teach them the will of God for them. Noong mga panahon na tinalikuran ng Israel ang Panginoon, isinugo at pinadala niya si Propeta Elias nang sa gayon ay ituro sa kanila ano nga ba ang gusto ng Diyos para sa kanila. And according to our first reading, Blessed is he who shall have seen Elijah and followed his friendship. Mapalad, sabi sa unang pagbasa, kapag sinunod mo ang salita ng Diyos kapag sinunod natin ang mensahe ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga propeta. Blessed are we if during this Christmas we will not only follow what we want but we follow what God wants for us. In our gospel reading today, we see the sadness of Jesus 
when the disciples and other people rejected John the Baptist. Jesus said, John the Baptist is like Elijah. He was sent by God so that he could tell the people that God wants for them restoration, repentance, forgiveness of sins. That is what God wants for the people of Israel. But the people rejected Elijah. The people rejected John the Baptist. And they did not follow what God wants for them. Jesus reminds them that John the Baptist was sent by God to reveal to us what God wants for us. Mga binamahal na kapatid, ngayong pong panahon ng Adyento ay isang napakagandang panahon para magdasal at manalangin tayo. Sana po ngayong panahon ng Kapaskuhan, habang hinihintay natin ang pagdating ng ating Panginoon sa panahon ng Pasko, wag lamang po sana natin tatanungin lagi ang ating sarili kung ano ang gusto natin. Sapagkat sabi ng ating mga pagbasa ngayong araw na ito, mas magiging blessed tayo kapag tinanong natin ang Diyos, ano po ang gusto niyo sa akin ngayong Pasko? At kapag tinanong natin ng Diyos at siya ay sumagot sa pamagitan ng kanyang salita, ito ay sundin natin. If our desires align with the desire of God, then our Christmas will become more blessed. Ngayong araw po na ito, mga kapatid, sa pagninilay po natin ngayong araw na ito, sa misang ito, sana po, ito rin ang tanungin natin sa Diyos. Panginoon, ano po ang gusto ninyo sa akin ngayong Pasko? Ano po ang bagong simula na nais ninyo para sa akin ngayong Pasko? Let us ask God, what is His will for us this Christmas? Amen. Please all stand. God sent Elijah and John the Baptist to remind the people of their need to change their way of life. In prayer, let us ask God the Father to help us attain genuine conversion. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may inspire people to trust in God amidst life's difficulties, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are struggling in their faith may experience and recognize God working in their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may pass on the faith to the young people of our time by their witness and examples, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may share in the hope and joy of the Advent season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may enjoy their eternal reward in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, during this Advent, help us make straight our path so that we may be prepared for the coming of Christ who is our Lord forever and ever. 
Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly. To complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work Amen. through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say our, our father, father who art, who art in, in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy Mother of our Savior, the Spirit dwells in you. Oh, how great is your beauty, and the grace bestowed on you. Holy Mother of our Savior, Chosen.